uh, this color you can see this color background and all of the screen mm. can also be changed under this settings this comes under themes huh? themes so when you go go to an adaptation settings sorry branding branding oh, themes and branding and theme. Right. Theme and theme. so you can see theme builders you can have your theme background image you can put it background image what is the image you want Mm -hmm. You can put a change the logo also background logo. Mm -hmm. You can also check the shell bar. This, mm -hmm. this is the shell bar. Mm -hmm. How it should look like. Login mm -hmm. page how it should look like. Mm -hmm. Smartphone page. So this this all can be controlled. From. So this 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 I can do entire company wide only or can I do for the role wise also the themes and yeah. branding. Normally, it is done for entire company wise, but you can do your own also. The home page and uh, the home page. So, uh, based on the role, based on the uh, business role. Huh? Because yeah. it's all on the role, right? Okay. So, you can do that changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is how can be controlled here. Mm -hmm. Okay, sales cloud, service cloud, logo. Ah, so, whatever cloud. logo you want, sales service, that can be mm -hmm. added. Your own logo can also be added. Mm -hmm. Now, this, now, this is clear. We are clear. Now, there are multiple options. You can also have an uh, incident reported from here in C4C. Mm -hmm. We normally do a, a solution manager, right? Mm -hmm. There is an incident. Mm -hmm. But in C4C, you can raise an incident from here directly. No, mm -hmm. no, you don't require a solution manager. Okay. Okay. Mm. So, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Report incident. We are uh, reporting our company issues to the SAP. SAP. Yes. Correct. Yes. Uh, okay. Company issue in this is there. Two things can be done. Uh, report an incident. Mm -hmm. One is you're putting an incident like how we raise in SAP, right? Mm -hmm. Attach a file. And mm. then there is two options. One mm. is submit and another is direct power. Now, mm. this can be worked in two ways. For example, your business user or a client mm. user is mm. having an issue coming in the system. And they mm. need to uh, inform you as a consultant or as an architect that I'm facing such issue in my system. Mm. For that, this is one of the way where they can raise an incident. They can attach the screenshot. They will put an impact and submit it. Mm. When they click on submit, it mm. will come to you. Mm. You in the sense consultant as mm. a notification. Mm. Now you need to go and check what exactly the issue he's facing. Mm. Now, if that can be resolved from your side, well and good. Mm -hmm. Then you resolve it and again submit this that your incident has been resolved. Mm -hmm. If not, what you can do, you can directly put these information, click on direct forward. Mm -hmm. So when you click on direct forward, it will go to SAP. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so here one doubt, sir. Okay. This is uh, okay, fine. Suppose now we have a lot of uh, maintenance projects in, uh, in on-premise. We have lot of in our maintenance project where we use solution manager for um, yeah, tracking the uh, tracking the enhancements tracking the new developments and moving the changes to the production system suppose c4c maintenance suppose there is a c4c maintenance project which is uh, how that time they will do uh, not sure i am asking correct question or not in C, if there is a C4C maintenance project, and uh, uh, suppose I want to do some enhancement, as a I want to use because some enhancement, some issues, uh, issues, and uh, how that time this will be managed without solution manager. Of course, we can manage. Uh, I think. We, my question is. I could not get your question. See, normally, if your question is in the, some issue, that there is no solution manager. This is what I'm saying. Okay. If your okay. internal issue it is coming, you can, and then a business user can log it to you. 
no normally problem. when you raise an incident from your side if you want to raise an incident to sap so See, you can yeah. also yeah 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 so that without solution manager also you can report an incident you can mm. put an information what exactly impact and all everything and mm. you can direct forward you can direct forward so when you click on direct forward your incident will be created and and how will you track that so i i can see this is an uh, this is a support okay sap support this is sap, SAP support. support yes now however we are taking for the see now also we will get lot of issues non premise also we will uh -huh. raise the incidents to the sap support we will go to the sap support sometime they will issue the you know, sap notes or sometime they will log uh, take some discussions and they will provide uh, ultimately so they will uh, provide the sap note or something or they will suggest something okay so this is sap support we have taken on premise in the same fashion here also whenever a issue comes with system wide when, when is tenant wise or org wide we are taking the reporting that incidents to the sap so that probably we will get i'm not sure we will get some kind of support from sap tenant wise this for this tenant this sap reliance tenant i these are the issues so this they probably they will say something okay normally solution manager um, what why we use in our on in premise in premise developments in premise developments to move to track the different uh, consultants uh, progress to the progress and uh, transport movement we will use the solution manager okay correct see see that is correct that is different that is under the administrator logging log part right oh, yeah and looking at log and having that that what uh, activity the other consultant has done whether that is moved or not or whatever it may be mm -hmm. that is a different thing mm -hmm. it, it will come later how i'll come when i show you the reports and everything na you will understand how the log in log out or uh, user uh, activities or the administrator activities is been tracked okay this is a separate different uh, activity altogether one okay. is sap support mm -hmm. second is within internal you need to support right mm -hmm. so in that internal if you are supporting that also you can create an incident and you can track your incident right? mm -hmm. there is a track option like where your if, if something assigned to your uh, user right mm -hmm. or what is your status mm -hmm. have you completed it not completed it what is the status of your incident Mm -hmm. Closed it or it is under discussion. So that entire detail can also be tracked internally, mm -hmm. yeah, not specific to SAP. Mm -hmm. So that the, for those both things, this reporting purposes very much important. Mm -hmm.